Subscribe to Case Girl and click on bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Hey what's up guys, KSK Rahul here and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I am going to show you how to install Lineage OS 15.1 based on Android Oreo 8.1 on Xiaomi's Mi A1. So without further ado, let's get started. So first thing first is I check the links in the description box down below and download all of the unnecessary files for this installation process. Also before doing anything like installing custom ROMs on your device, make sure that you back up all of your sensors information also in the description box you're gonna find a link to the XDA thread which also explain the step-by-step -step guide for this installation process so once you download all of the files you can see and place it somewhere on a desktop the one thing that you need to remember while downloading is if you're coming from the a stock ROM Oreo then you need to download the recovery files for the Oreo so if you're coming from the NuGet and download the recovery files for the NuGet version only so next thing is to go ahead and connect your Mi A1 to the PC and then we need to copy the bunch of files to the internal storage of your device so go ahead and uh, copy the uh, TWRP record installer zip file a magisk module manager a lineage OS as well as the Google Apps and copy onto your uh, internal storage of your Mi A1 Alright, so once it's done copying, so now we need to go ahead and extract the a uh, flat form tools, which actually comes with the both ADB and fastboot files. So as you can see that I no longer need these files, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. So go ahead and select your flat form tools and then right click on it and extract it using the Vendrar. So once it's extracted, so right inside that you're gonna find the ADB and fastboot files. Now what you're gonna do is go ahead and move that recovery file into this uh, flat form tools. Now switching back to the a uh, camera view so on your me even so as i said that make sure that you back up all of your important data so because this process we're going to completely wipe everything that means all of your data will be gone forever so backup and everything and very important information backup backup so then go to the settings and right inside the settings scroll all the way and then you can find the option called system then tap on the about phone and scroll all the way and tap on the build number for a couple of times in order to activate the developer options. So now you can see the developer options has been enabled. Now here to enable the two options, so one is the OEM unlockings which allows us to unlock the bootloader and next one is go ahead and enable the USB debugging. So once you enable uh, these two options, go ahead and take the USB cable from your PC and connect to your uh, device. Now on your PC, the, uh, currently you're in the location of the platform tools, go ahead and holding a shift and right click and you're going to see the option called open command window here or open PowerShell window here if you're on Windows 10. So now here is going to be a launch the terminal, then type the command called ADB devices and if you see this message on your phone, go ahead and allow the USB debugging. So and also you're going to see the reference number which indicates the device is connected to your PC properly. Then type the command called ADB reboot bootloader so what this is going to do is going to be boot your device into the uh, fast boot mode once your device is in the uh, fast boot mode so then type the command called a uh, fast boot devices to ensure that the device is still connected to your pc properly now then type the command called fast boot oem unlock to unlock the bootloader then last but not the least, I type the command called fastboot boot and type a recovery and then press the tab key to auto complete and then press return key. So rather flashing the recovery into a device, we're actually doing is booting into the a TWRP recovery. So then on your device, you can see that it's going to be a boot into the TWRP recovery mode. For the first time, it's going to be allow. It's going to show you a message like this. Just go ahead and swipe to allow all of the modifications. Now when you're inside the TWRP recovery, the first thing you need to always do is go ahead and click on the backup and backup your existing ROM. This will going to be backup all of your important data. So the next thing is select the wipe option, then click on advanced wipe, then click on Delvic system and data. So what this is going to do is it's going to wipe all of these partitions 
and then swipe to a wipe. Next thing is go back to the home screen and then click on install and look for the file called lineageOS 15.1 as zip file. Select that zip file and swipe to confirm flash. So this is going to be take a couple of minutes and sit back and relax and once it's done I'll be right back with you guys. Alright so now as you can see it's almost done and once you see this message uh, then we are good to go then press the home button. Now click on the reboot here. So here currently I am in the uh, slot A. So I need to change it to the uh, slot B and vice versa. Simply select the slot B if you're on slot A. And if you're on slot B then choose a slot A. So this is going to change the uh, partition from slot A to slot B. So then click on install again. Then scroll all the way and then you can see the option called TWRP Recovery Installer and swipe to confirm flash. This is going to a uh, install the uh, TWRP Recovery permanently on your device. Then press the home button. Then this time click on the reboot. Then select the recovery and then swipe to a uh, reboot. Ba this will actually going to a uh, reboot back to the uh, TWRP Recovery. Once your device booted back to the TWRP Recovery, now click on install and scroll all the way and then you can find the option called the magisk as well as the uh, open g apps go ahead and select these two zip files and swipe to confirm flash all right so once it's done so go ahead and click on the uh, reboot system so to boot your system into the android 8.1 oreo And this is it. As you can see, that is actually successfully booted into the Lineage OS 15.1 on your Xiaomi's Mi A1. So this is actually a working very fine. So I have been using the Lineage OS 15.1 for almost a one week now, and I think this is actually very very faster if you compare with the stock ROM 8.0. And if you really want to install a custom ROM, I think this is the best ROM currently available for the Mi A1. So also, if you want to downgrade back to the stock ROM using the fast boot method i'll leave the link of the video in the description box down below so go ahead and check this out so that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching this is your host ksk ryle signing off bye bye now